morning. So here I am on Helm Crag. Absolutely glorious up here. If anyone wants to do a nice short little walk up a mountain and get some views and feel like you're in the middle of the lakes, this is the one to do. Only took an hour to get up, so quite a nice quick, quick walk. But it's spectacular. Look at that grass mere down there, nestled amongst the trees. So for you guys who are interested, here's my little setup. I've got an Octane. I've got an Octane 1, which is 1.6 kilos, so it's quite a nice lightweight tent, but it's quite roomy inside, you can sit up in it. And um, I love it, I love that little tent. I like a lighter tent, but uh, it's pretty pretty stable, it's like a blade, one pole, very very simple, from black, so it's quite cheap, it's under £100. Um, got a few more bits, new bits of kit, got this little pocket rockety thing, got outdoors doors purchase with one of the tiny, tiny gas canisters which I'm going to start taking with me now because I'm using this more efficient Alp kit brew pot, which is superb, if you haven't got one, get one, boils water in Half a litre it can boil in a minute, so super quick. And I've migrated onto freeze-dried food. So I had that last night. Chicken curry, £4.50, and I have to say, I'll give it 7 out of 10. It was absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed it. If you like pot noodles, which I don't, it's how pot noodles should taste. So I would definitely buy that again. Um, I'm going to try the other ones, but so easy, so convenient. No washing up. I've got absolutely no washing up to do. And I've also started drinking tea without milk, white tea or green tea. Again, just saves with a clot on a brimming milk. So all good. So I'm just about to pack up and leave. And, oh, I've got a new little addition, which is super, a folding mug, which I absolutely love. I've been looking for a lightweight little mug, and um, this is a Swedish folder mug, and it's so light, it folds into itself, really small, and it's actually quite nice to drink out of, because some, uh, I find some plastic cups, not too, you know, it's just not very nice to drink out of, you know. Ah, with my white tea. Absolutely delicious. It's not really. White tea was, was um, sugar would be nicer, but uh, we're off the old white death at the minute. Just a little note about this, uh, just a little note about this freeze-dried food. If you are going to try it. I highly recommend buying yourself a uh, Seat the Summit long handled spoon so you can stir it and get to the bottom easily. So we, the second one I've had, the first one did a few rounds in the dishwasher and as we all know, aluminium doesn't like dishwashers. It takes on a funny bloom, so I bought myself a new one. It was only about six quid or something. But worth it. Worth it. Definitely definitely get one of these I'm so impressed with that so yeah holds a litre absolutely brilliant <coughs> right guys here's a little tip for you or a few little tips obviously when you go for a camp you generate rubbish and I found these um, these Ziploc bags are fantastic, not just for rubbish, but also for keeping your electronics dry and all sorts of stuff. And these come from Ikea, and you get them in four different sizes, and they're absolutely brilliant. So obviously I can just put all that rubbish that you generate in one night, stick it away, and then store it on the side of your, uh, your nice new Osprey bag or whatever you've got. And you don't get it covered in, uh, you know, horrible smells and things like if you especially if you eat something like tin mackerel and tomato sauce or something just keeps that away and it's all sealed and you just throw it away as soon as you get home 
another tip I've had this mat for about 15 years it's made of plastic you can hardly tear it it's a bit like the new five pound note it's got the whole of the Lake District on it misses off just above um, Skiddor but it's pretty much got everything on it's at a slightly different scale as well I want a 40,000 um, but I just stick that in my bag and you know you don't have to worry about picking picking the right OS map um, so I've found that probably the best map I've ever had it's waterproof it's been out in the rain even where it doesn't even it's hardly worn it has worn but not not much absolutely brilliant so get yourselves one of them and it's the uh, I think it's a Harvey Harvey map yeah Harvey map obviously get yourself a long handled spoon stops you getting your fingers all wet and get yourself an apple kit brew kit because that is one serious bit of camping kit one minute to boil a half a pint of water half a litre which means you use less gas so you can carry a smaller canister so everyone's a winner anyway that's me done